Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel for this 254. Today I'm bringing you a very special car. It is uh, an episode of luxury and performance and it is Mercedes-Benz uh, GLA 350D. Uh, very uh, high level of performance and also uh, high level of luxury. Uh, the year of manufacturing is still in place. So this car has come to come to So uh, quickly here at the front we have this large headlight, uh, large wheel to cool the engine. We have this very nice three-point star that has a, that is finished in chrome. Then we have this also this uh, three-point star here at the hood. Then we switch the number plate here, we have the front camera here. Parking sensors here, not so that you don't, uh, don't crash it. Then we have a nice ground clearance, not so that you don't, uh, you don't uh, scrub, scrub your, your, your bumper in the bump. Then we also have this nice chrome finish here, make it have an elegant look. All this chrome lining make it look so nice. So the side has this nice, uh, we have this large um, arc that fits the tire and the tire here at in turn is very very large so this nice alloy rings then we also have uh, carbon brakes there but we also have six piston calipers to let the braking is speed then we also have a strong strong texture uh, nice side mirrors here that also have lens departure warning make sure you don't lean away from the solar lens we also have sunroof here so look at it later Chrome finish in a, in a handle to open the car. Then uh, also the turning wheel, then alloy rim, uh, carbon brake pad, then carbon brake bit. Then the at the back the pistons here are actually two. Then just uh, the back. Uh, the back looks so nice because it's a, this is a coupe. The GLE mostly are coupes. Uh, this one this one is actually 350D formatic for the wheel system. So we have this nice chrome lining here. Then we have uh, the, the tail lights there. We have nice uh, tail pipes. Uh, the exhaust. Then we have the GLE here, the 50D. And then underneath this three-point star, when you engage the vehicle to reverse, it, uh, it reveals here the, the reverse camera. It is so nice guys. And being a coupe, you can see it looks so nice and it has a, a high profile and that gives you maybe a nice bedroom inside. Then, uh, having looked at the, at the exterior, let's check what powers up this machine. This vehicle is powered up by a, a 3,000 cc V6 turbo charge engine uh, that produces uh, 620 Nm of torque and 268 horsepower. Then that power is sent to all the four wheels via a 9 speed gearbox and uh, the clutch system is dual clutch, dual clutch with a torque converter. So uh, having seen the power train and everything, the exterior, let's have a look at the interior and see if the boat. So guys, the interior of this car is equipped with leather seats that are heated and ventilated and very comfortable. We also have this active headrest that holds you tight during an accident. Then we also have this uh, nice steering with a flat bottom. It's also heated and ventilated this steering. We also have nice control steer, nice control steer. Then we have this paddle shift as well that shift. But this one reduces the gears, then this one adds the gears. We have the gear lever here. Uh, with, the, with the gear selection, you have reverse neutral drive. Then you want to shift it to parking. You press this button here. Then you also have uh, the seats. Also, they they are they have their settings here. You have up to with their memory seats. They have to, uh, up to three memory seats. Then you can recline everything there. Then these are the buttons to lock the door. Then 
Uh, apart from that, we have the parking brake here. Then we have uh, the, the light controls there. Then the indicators this other side. And this one is the uh, cruise control to hold attempts for you. And uh, without forgetting, this car sprints from 0 to 100 km per hour in 6.6 .6 seconds. And the top speed is 60 km per hour. Then uh, the consumption of this car is 6.6 .6, 6 .6, uh, liters per kilometer. Uh, 6 .6 uh, liters per hundred kilometers. Then we also have this nice infotainment screen here, six inch actually. There's nice controls here. I don't know if you can see it moving. My control here then it moves. Then we also have nice AC here. Uh, then we also have the infotainment controls there and also here. Then here we have the drivers, uh, the selection mode, we have sport mode, we have comfortable mode have snow mode and individual mode in the individual mod mode you can customize the car so it will it will alter it support you to set uh, whatever you want and also have the AC controls here uh, which are very nice we also have uh, the EAC mode the traction control off we have the parking brake off heated seats and heated seats for the passenger and we also have the parking the hazards there then we open the sunroof using this button here and these are the interior lights then we also have the sun shades there, uh, which look nice. Then the sun system of this car uses a uh, system called Harman with about 10 speakers uh, that make it uh, sound so nice. We also have a heads-up display that uh, shows you the navigation and also speed and maybe at the end of something, something sort, sort of that. We also have a wireless charging pad here and uh, cup holders here and also a 12 volt. Uh, uh, point here. Also have this armrest here that are also nice and comfortable. And when you open them like that, uh, you have you have storage space there. Uh, we also have USB ports here for you to to add music in your car. Then uh, the seats are also comfortable. Then these um, these uh, these uh, safety belts. If I tie them, uh, if I tie them like that. Uh, uh, then the engine is on. It will pull. It will pull back this safety belt for it to hold me tight uh, on the seat. Uh, apart from that, we also have uh, storage space here and nice leather at the top here, which makes it to look so nice. We also have uh, when you are at the outside, you'll see that it has uh, cameras over there to to have uh, to have to take a video while you're driving, so that in case of an accident can drive and see what happened uh, then apart from that we also have the second row of seats which i think you need to see the comfortability of it then it shall come and show you the performance of this at the back are very comfortable you can see between you and the feel back here actually makes you feel both uh, the comfort is high a very high levels of comfort this leather seats are very perfect also have a uh, flat flat flow here so the person sitting at the middle uh, can fit so well also have a seat here make sure you are full or hold at the back in the controls there also have some storage space here uh, some other vehicles with it act like to uh, ashtray then also have a 12 uh, socket here then also have some nice storage space here it may be a uh, water or something and storage areas we also have a uh, baby seat here uh, nice area here to fit the baby seat then the seat is also heated we also have um we also equipped with some system here at the back and so uh without forgetting the head uh the headroom nice headroom also the leg the, the, the leg space there the leg room um uh we also have active active headrest that cushion you uh apart from that uh, uh, uh the comfort is high guys understand the comfort the comfort is very very nice so uh let's check some other features 
guys, I'm back at the driver's seat to show some cool features. Some cool features. So I said uh, electrically adjusted seats, so as you can see, just push this one in, it moves me to uh, near the, the pedal. Then the headrest also, I like that. I have the back also as well. Then also have some nice features. Also, it increase the volume from this button here. Maybe you can terrible. hear. You know, truth is, yes. it is hard to find. You receive calls here and also end calls here. Of this button also that controls the entertainment screen. Usually, it will control this uh, uh, screen here. Uh, the uh, drive mode, as you can see. Then, then apart from that, a nice steering feel. That then. Then we also have the uh, ni nice legs here. Right there. Then right now we are at comfort mode here. Let's show them here to comfort mode. Then I can put it to sport mode. You can see. So basically, while I'm in sport mode, the suspension will be tighter, the gear ratios will be closer. Then if I put it to individual mode, I can select what I want. I can select what I want with the individual mode. I can select maybe the suspension to be tighter or the or the steering to be maybe lighter and the engine to have maybe to hold high RPMs. Then apart from that, also have a uh, snow mode. The snow mode uh, knows how to deal with the, with the ground because of it will speed a lot. Then we also have the uh, uh, heated seat so I can sit my seat three times also for the passenger. And also uh, end co receive calls and then calls to have navigation here. The select navigation to show the area around. Apart from that, uh, and an engaging presenter to join our big family. Uh, then we also have uh, the ship to drive to river. That. So you have the 360 camera here and also the reverse camera there. Then that's all guys.